morning everyone let's wait for it to connect there you are hello everyone I don't know maybe you were there maybe you weren't but I see we're connected now good morning happy Wednesday uh, park just opened we're going over here to Soren because we can. We're going to try to get one big ride in before the spring breakers take over the park. Good morning. Thank you for being here, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. And uh, let's go try to get in Soren. And then I think we're going to do Spike the Bee uh, Flower and Garden Scavenger Hunt. I think that's what we're going to do. All right, let's go do our good mornings. It is overcast and 71 degrees. It is quite beautiful here in Epcot. You guys are amazing already. Already, Ernie T, hello. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Uh, Lori Disney Fun, thank you for being here. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Abigail, it's one o'clock in the afternoon here in the UK. Well, happy afternoon to you. Chris working and drinking my cup of coffee waiting for the stream here we are friend thank you for being here all right we're headed up into the land uncle Robbie good morning are we up cutters are we up <laughs> uh Debbie good morning enjoy your coffee Kelly, good morning. Brave, welcome in. Good morning, Kayla. Good morning. Happy Wednesday to you. Amanda loves to travel. Good morning, good morning. Gent, hello. Welcome in. Oh, it's cold in here. I mean, I mean cold. It's just because it's so humid outside. It's not really cold. Kelly, thank you so much. <laughs> I, I, I'm like Neil. I woke up, I showered, and I showed up. There you go. I'm full of joy. I am. I got it all done. Debbie, it's wet and cold. Oh, no. Bex, good morning. Good afternoon to you. Tink for life. Good morning. Carly, hello. Monica, good morning. Good to see you here in the chat. Melanie, good morning. We're going to head up. We'll, we'll go to Living with the Land, hopefully after Soren. Mike, popping in to say hi. I hope you have a wonderful day too, Mike. Thank you for popping in. Chris, good morning. Peter. Good morning, Christina. Hello, hello, good morning. Crystal, good to see you here today. Fabricio from Brazil, welcome in. Thank you for being here again, Fabricio. Lisa, good morning. Lori, hello again. It's all my fault, hello. Earl, good morning. It's a 15 minute wait still, that's good. We oh, just switched to 30. Is it Jay? Jay, oh, Jason. Hi, Jason. I'm like trying to figure out the name. Hi, Jason, good morning. Swango, good morning. 
<laughs> One day, Swango, I'm going to get you to say good morning instead of just morning. But I used to be the person that only said morning. <laughs> and uh, it's a good morning, though. Good morning to you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Charlie's Travel Disney and Beyond. Um, two weeks for the third time. That's amazing. Have a wonderful time. You ate there at uh, Garden Grill when we were outside of there. April, good morning. Did I um, get your teaspoon of ashwagandha in your coffee this morning? <laughs> I did not. So, again, we only have the, the uh, pill form. I'll have to order, like, the powder, just like a scoop. Kershaw, thanks for reminding me, though. That's another thing I need to put on my list. Catherine, hello. <coughs> Oh, Crystal, that's a shame. Uh, do I have my cookbook today, Sam Monica? No cookbook today. Um, I said, um, I think yesterday, I'm going to postpone the cookbook until next week. i um, hoping that the lines go down. Um, it's, I would love to wait in the lines, and that's not a problem, but I just don't think we'd get very far with it. Um, and I need to do it from Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom is the rest of our signatures. So next week, I think that we should be able to get in and get the signatures and it shouldn't be a problem. But I appreciate, I'm glad that everybody loved the signatures and, um, and that we're gonna get back to it. And hopefully by the end of next week, we will have um, a giveaway for that. And don't forget that we do have our 20K thousand our 20,000 giveaway going on our 20k giveaway I'm gonna say it right um, going on right now and all you have to do is go to my YouTube channel it's free to sign up for it um, and the link is in the community section of the uh, Disney Parks with Love YouTube channel uh, Lisa good good morning Roger B good morning Dell, good morning. Queen Mother, hello. Good morning. Tanner, good morning. Uh, spring break crowds are high. That's all I'll say. Uh, Julie, good morning. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you spending some time here in Epcot with me. Like I said, I think we're going to do this and we'll see if we can get on Living with the Land and then we'll probably head over to the World Showcase and do uh, Spike the Bee, Flower and Garden uh, Scavenger Hunt. JB, good morning. Christian, good morning. Tracy, me, hello. Good morning. Heather Logan, good morning. Oh, Bex, I hope that um, y'all are having a great afternoon and no place uh, better than to be curled up on the sofa watching. Oh, Brave, I, so I think that we've talked about the writing before um, and I talked a little bit about my daughter. Oh, oh, Darla, okay, so we're both chicken mamas. I love that, oh, I love that. Um, one day I'll tell my story about the last time I was on a horse. <laughs> I need my daughter with me because I'm sure her um, commentary on it would be um, quite comical for you guys. Uh, the weather here today, Queen Mother, 71 and cloudy so far. Sheila, Sheila loves Disney. Garden Girl is amazing. We enjoyed it. So I will say I liked breakfast more than I like the dinner, the lunch and dinner. I think I'm just more of a breakfast person in general. But it's a great time. I think it's a great character meet and greet. And uh, you will have as much as you care to enjoy um, with all the food there.
Tina, good morning. Welcome in and thank you for your time today, Tina. Christy Castle. I don't know what the announcement, unless they're saying like move all the way up. I don't know. Christy Castle, thank you and good morning. Uh, John Grantland, hello, good morning. Thank you for watching from Alabama. Amanda, thank you for saying good morning to the mods. Aren't they wonderful? They deserve good mornings as well. Rain off and on to my husband. I was talking to him before I started the stream and um, he, he was said it was raining at the house. So I feel like I'm gonna have rain here at Epcot on and off today. Liz, travel agent Liz, happy Wednesday. Good to see you here. Tanya, hello. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Hopefully I'm not missing anybody's name. Uh, Jay, Jay Booker, hello, hello. April Princess, hello, good morning. Oh, uh, Brooks Bewitching ASMR, you found my channel yesterday and I'm new, a new subscriber. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Hopefully it goes quickly. Ghost Toast, good morning. Once again, please do not sit, stand, or swing on those silver handrails or break away chains. We also ask that if there's any space in front of you, please fly on forward and fill it all the way in. Once again, please keep moving forward, feeling all available space in. Uh, Ross, thank you. It is an awesome community. Uh, I'm glad that you feel welcome here. And yeah, the mods are amazing. Nancy, good morning. Ghost Host, you just booked a weekend for the end of April. A long weekend. I love it. I think that um, the end of April should be perfect. Perfect. Nathan, hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, Crystal, not good to do that. After announcement, <laughs> Darla, um, yeah, uh, yesterday in the announcements, I agree. <laughs> I love that. JJ, kitty doll, hello, good morning. Good to see you here, JJ. Good to have you in here and see your name on the screen. Carly, good morning. And uh, these streams make your work day go by so much quicker. Um, yep, and keep working. You will get back here. Whatever your priorities are. And Disney doesn't have to be the number one priority. Obviously, we have family and work and all the other things. But if even if it's like number five, that's okay. At least it's up there and you can keep working towards it. Kathy C in that mod love, that's right. <laughs> Only four days. Oh, okay, so four days goes host and then ten days in August. Amazing. <laughs> Chris. 
Crystal, we're not going to talk about it. We're not, we're not uh, jinxing anything. And I don't really believe in jinxing, but we're still not going to talk about it. Uh, you fell asleep watching Bex. Um, we've two hours exactly. We got a light. So this is how yesterday went. If you weren't part of the stream yesterday, we went straight to the safari. Um, I got in the line at 8:30. The ride opened at 8:30. We waited about 15 minutes. We got um oh, about I don't know 10 minutes from the getting on the ride. Uh, the line stopped. There was an announcement. The announcement said animal on the road, uh, you know, to, were temporarily stopped. And you could tell the trucks were temporarily stopped. The trucks weren't moving. So, okay. It finally cleared that up. The trucks start moving again. We start moving after, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes. I would say 30 to 45 minutes. We waited for that to be cleared up. We got going. We made it all the way to where the queue splits. If you've ever been there, you choose to go to the left or the right. We made it into that section and the line stopped again. The only thing this time is that the trucks kept going and going and going. Well, they finally made an, um, an announcement that said we're having technical difficulties. Uh, the ride um, will resume, you know, blah, blah, blah. The woman, uh, the guest in front of me, said she went and talked to a cast member came back reported a transmission um, fluid leak um, on the safari so they were in the midst of cleaning up uh, with that being said uh, they were cleaning up it took a long long time uh, we had already waited a long long time so at the two hour mark which would have been 10:30. Thank you. Um, okay, so um, we all, I decided to wait, but I decided at 10:30 we would make a decision. So 10:30 came. Um, I was like, okay, uh, a cast member comes, gives us a lightning lane, and lets everybody know that it's going to take a little while. We start to walk out. I get kind of held up by a family who's waiting for their lightning lane and being held up I turned around and the truck started going they loaded so we turned around we got on the truck we did our safari um, and we got off of this oh by the way we did see baby Cora so if you want to see the baby elephant go fast forward rewatch that stream and you can see baby Cora um, and then we what do we do? We got off of the safari. We got another lightning lane um, by a really nice cast member and we were given ice cream. <laughs> and that is the story of the safari wait line yesterday. Two, two and a half hours of the stream, right in the beginning of the morning. That is what happened. All right, back to the chat. Uh, Fabricio, I do have Instagram. Let's see, did I miss anything? Uh, I do have Instagram, and that is the link tree. You can click on it, but everything that I have is Disney Parks with Love. It is on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and um, Facebook. All Disney Parks with Love. Dream along with us, Mike. Hello. You'll be on Epcot on Saturday. I will be at Magic Kingdom on Saturday. If you come over, let me know. Ice cream made everything better. And then we went over to Magic Kingdom and we used our lightning lane on the adventures of Winnie the Pooh. And Brave drove the safari. Dra Brave drove everybody in, in our car um, for the safari. That is right. I felt like um, I was at the end of the Frozen sing along where they're like, we're running out of time. We're going to say everything really quick. I didn't want y'all to get bored with the story. 
Genie Plus sold out at Magic Kingdom and Hollywood. So yesterday it sold out everywhere but Epcot. Elena, hello, good morning. Happy um, and blessings of Wednesday. Yes, same right back to you. Jeff Davis, hello. Okay, all right. Can you send it to me, Mike? Send me the new TikTok. I'm not, I'm not even paying attention. Thank you to everybody in here. Thank you, thank you for coming along on this little journey of our Epcot day today. Um, once we are done with our rides here, um, we're gonna head out to the World Showcase and do Spike the Beast um, scavenger hunt. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your view of the light attendant today. We'll begin with four First, I'd like to appoint you with some important safety information. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the under-seat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and, of course, these little dudes. Next, fasten your seatbelts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height of your gator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop of the center strap for a buckle. That's what belt. Soon you will be here. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or flights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry on items, safety strap, fear of heights. Keep your hands and arms inside at all times. Yeah. Have a nice one. Uh, Wayne, good morning, and Stitch, good morning. All right, once I move through the door, I won't be talking anymore. I don't want to disturb anybody around me. So we'll get loaded in the um, in the ride and then uh, enjoy Soren. Wayne, I, I know Tasha. Good morning too. Um, I don't, I don't know why. Sometimes you get notified and sometimes you don't. I think that's just technology and and the um, you know the platform. But hopefully, hopefully you're notified today. I do try to put it in Instagram. I try to share it on Facebook. I try to share it in my Discord. I try to put it there so everybody knows. So if you don't get those notifications, that somehow some way you see it good morning gator en el compartimiento debajo del asiento. Para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con el cinturón de seguridad abrochado durante el vuelo y vigilen a los niños. Esperamos que disfruten su vuelo.
grab it and go and it seems to be much quicker welcome in everybody thank you for being here with us to go on soren scuba good to see you gator hello welcome in thank you for being here and thank you for your time today Hopefully I said that right. Hello, good morning. If you haven't already liked the stream and you're loving it, um, give it a like and um, hopefully you'll have a wonderful day with us. And if you haven't already subscribed uh, to the channel, we hope that we can win you over and uh, you'll love being here and hit that subscribe button to hang out with us all the time. Andrew, good morning. John and Christy, living with the land it is, it is. Amanda, good morning. We are gonna head over to living with the land. It hopefully is still at five minutes. Hopefully. You're very welcome, Elena. It's my, I need to get out of the, um, I don't know if it's a habit, but I love starting my day off in Epcot with Soren. I can't help but come over here. So, all right, living with the land is still five. Soren is still at 30. Olivia, you're so welcome. Oh, we get to go look for the, the exit signs. Let's see how many we can count. Green, green, you're so welcome. Yugi mom and girl, hello. Brian, hello, hello, welcome in. John Day at the parks, one day closer, my friend. Oh no, Scuba. Oh no. <laughs> K 
having us here, so welcome. My pleasure. I am the one that's lucky to be able to bring this to you guys. Thank you. All right, you guys, you know the drill. Once I get on the boat, no talking. Uh, enjoy, and I'll see you on the the other side, the other side of the land. Thank you. Now sit back. Relax and enjoy living with the land. Con su seguridad permanezca sentado con sus manos y brazos, pies y piernas dentro del barco y cuida los pequeñitos. A manera de recordatorio, no tomar fotos con flash y luz de video antes de llegar a Ninandero. landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, Rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm.
scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world.
we don't think of fish. But fish farming, or aquaculture, accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, bass, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save millions of gallons each year. Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. Innovations like this one can play an important role in our efforts to produce powerful harvests and still protect natural resources. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely on. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. These
greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. <coughs> On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratories. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the behind the scenes walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratory. Please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop. lovely 73 degrees here um, it's a bit I'm gonna say for me it's chilly especially in the on the ride <laughs> it was not warm in the ride um, but that's a good thing that Disney has the air conditioning pumping uh, but it's 73 and uh, there's a wonderful breeze I was chilly when I was waiting to start the stream. It was 71, and when I was speaking to my husband, I did say, I think it's chilly. So I feel like it has to be around 75 for me to not think that it's chilly. Late good morning. Good morning everybody if I didn't get to say a personal hello or good morning to you um, happy Wednesday good morning and uh, thank you for being here and being part of the stream so we've ridden Soren we have ridden living with the land we're gonna make our way over to the butterfly area here for the flower and garden show uh, flower and garden festival yeah. <laughs> Spider Bear, I hello and welcome in. Let's see. Okay. So Today we're going to do the Spike the Bee Flower and Garden Scavenger Hunt. So we're going to do some flower and garden fun stuff.
hope you're enjoying your Wednesday. We've made it halfway through the week. Well, maybe we should have to make it through the day, but we can technically say we're halfway there. So part of the flower and garden is the butterfly landing. We'll, we'll walk through there and then we'll head around to the World Showcase. We can, Bex. We can, we can, um... We can look at some topiaries. Hey, David Thomas. All right. We're at the bat butterfly landing. Good morning, Jimmy Raider. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, and Figment. Yeah, we'll hit Figment up while we're over here. You're right. I did think, and I was not thinking that I couldn't walk through, Jeff. So we do need to knock out Figment while we're over here. Carolina, hello, welcome in. There's lots of clouds. So again, rain supposed to be moving in this evening and uh, should be raining tomorrow morning, early morning. Butterflies everywhere. All right, I don't know. I don't know what the prize is. So, um, for Spike the Spike the Bee um, scavenger hunt. So we're doing this together. Haven't haven't um, looked, and I don't. I only have seen some of the Spike the Bee. Um, I've only seen some of them around. Uh, I know when we were on the egg hunt, we saw some of them. But uh, we're, we're going to do this, and ha I have no idea. Oh my God, just mousing around. That's amazing. What an experience. It is so beautiful, it's so peaceful. Oh, look. Scott Hill, good morning, hello. And every time I go through this butterfly exhibit, I always come out and I see the gigantic succulent butterfly. And I always say, I want one of these for my house. And 
I don't know. I think if Disney actually sold them, I'd figure out a way to get one. But I think it's amazing and could probably figure out how to make one on a smaller scale somehow. But I love this thing. Uh, and there's a butterfly on it. Hey, Holly. Um, I am well. Hope all is well with you. And thanks for watching, even though it's from the hospital. All right, so because we're blocked off, we're gonna go ride Figment because we can, and then we're gonna walk around. Uh, we'll check out the Bell, I think it's uh, not Bell, I think it's Bo Peep uh, Topiary that's over here. And then we'll walk and we'll go around and we'll head to the World Showcase. ABC Coffee, you've been tuning in all week. Your wife, brother-in-law, and nephew are at the park. Oh, um, you know what, ABC Coffee, if at all they want to come up uh, to me and say hi and say hi to you on the stream, I'd love to have them do that. So keep that in mind. If, uh, if you want to reach out to them, you're more than welcome to. Jeff, right next to the harp. Right, what, the harp? The harp, the saxophone, piano, and then the succulent. Luca, I know I didn't say good morning to you. Thanks for being here. Jim Irwin, hello. Good morning. Debbie, you're going to make me start laughing. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're heading on to Figment. It's a cute little ride. One, four, thank you. Please don't let your imaginations run wild. Bienvenidos. Para su seguridad durante su estadía en nuestros laboratorios sensoriales, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. Y cuide los pequeñitos. Gracias. All right, you guys. So those are the ride carts and um, once we get in, I won't be talking anymore. I will be in the cart with others. So welcome to Figgy. Genie Plus, yeah, it, it was how, it went faster today than it did yesterday. I think people were frustrated with yesterday. To ensure your safe tour of our sensory labs, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside your tour track. Keep a wonderful eye on your children and them. Oh, yes, uh, please don't let your imaginations run wild. Bienvenidos. Para su seguridad durante su estadía en nuestros laboratorios sensoriales, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. Y cuide a los pequeñitos. Gracias. Thank <laughs> you. 
our special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Michael Cheney, Chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello, on your tour you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, <laughs> smell, touch, cookie, cookie, go, and taste. <sighs> taste like chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I know what you're out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Figment, you are not to interfere with the tour. Our first stop is the sound lab. We'll begin by testing your hearing with a series of tones. Left ear, right ear. Left, right. What? This is odd. Um, hello? Hello? Who is this? It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. It's over here. All aboard. <laughs>
All right, you guys, we did it. All right, let's see if Figma is out. Pigment is not. Let's see if he's about to come out. So no joy. And let's see. People, there's actually a very nice line waiting for Figment. That's good to see. We love Mickey. Hello. All right. ABC Coffee. Okay. We'll, we'll keep going. You never know. You just never know. All right. Thank you, everybody, for being here. If you haven't done so already, we're going to keep walking. <laughs> that was a lot in one sentence. If you haven't done so already, please like the stream if you love what you're seeing. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, uh, we'd love to have you here as part of the community. And we are going to keep walking. We're going to look at the topiaries over here um, as part of the Flower and Garden Festival. And then we're going to um, make our way out and grab the Spike the Bee scavenger hunt a little card. And then we will go find Spike the Bee. I'm hoping we'll get to ride a uh, Grand Fiesta tour today, too. Hoping to make it over there before that gets uh, too crowded. So, we'll see. <laughs> Wait, commas are your friend. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Again, we're blocked off. We can't go that way. We have to walk around. So we're gonna look at uh, Bo Peep and Woody and then we'll keep going. All right, we cannot go that way. Spike the Bee is in more than just the World Showcase. So I wonder if I can get, because I just looked in that gift shop and I, I mean, I briefly looked and I was looking to see if I could buy it in there and I didn't see it. All right. So I wonder if I should go up to Spaceship Earth and purchase it there. I wonder if I can. go on the, the app and look. Let's do that. So Spike the Bee uh, scavenger hunt is part of the Flower and Garden Festival. And let's see. Spike's pollination exploration. Merchandise. Let's see. The cost is $9.99, and 
Where can I purchase it? Find on a map. Hmm. It doesn't have a place like where you can purchase. So we're gonna keep going on and uh, maybe uh, maybe in Creations. I think you can buy it in the store. Uh, Amber, you're so welcome. Thank you for being part of the stream. Ask for AP discount. We'll do. Thank you, Darla. Thank you, everybody, for the 300 likes. Appreciate you. All right, we're going to go over here and see if we can purchase it in here. Because if there are spike the bees that we do need to find out here, then I'd love to do it before we go into the World Showcase. Thundershark, hello. Good morning. Good to see you here. Sandy Byers, good morning. So we are in Epcot today and uh, it is cloudy, a little overcast and wonderful, wonderful. Topiaries are amazing. Oh my goodness, what's this a line for? Oh, Pluto. Um, I love that Disney put out a little snippet on how they make them and how long it takes and all of that. Gives us a little inside look to how long it takes for them to do the, um, the topiaries. And I really wish there was like a topiary tour because I would take it. All right, I feel like at the festival market, right here. Right, they should have Spike the Bee. Let's see, it's like sunglasses. So, not sure, I don't, I don't see it. Like they usually have them displayed. All right, let's go inside Creations. pop right in here and see if we can uh, grab it. They usually have them at all, the, all of the registers. And you should be able to, uh, yep, you can. All right, we found it. So you can get the extravaganza, which that's the one we already did. And then the spike to be I haven't looked at merch in so long. Oh, All right, we're just gonna purchase this and then we're gonna get going. Choices. It's gonna be a magnet. It's gonna be um, orange bird magnet or the bee magnet. Um, can I do orange bird? There you go. I have a guest, uh, which is, uh, 
All right, you guys, we have our scavenger hunt. Thank you. All right, so here we go. Uh, spikes pollination exploration. So it is $9.99 plus tax. And uh, if you have an annual pass, so you get the discount, it came to like $8.89. Um, I did opt to get my prize now, so I do know what it is, but I will show you I will show you guys what the prize is or what I got if you didn't hear what it looks like when we're done with it. So you do have a choice of two items. So it starts out with some of these things. Tanner, you I know you asked how much help do I want? Maybe a little bit. Um Magnolia Terrace, the Garden Italian uh, Dessert Garden, Mickey and Minnie's Picnic, the World Discovery Playground, Donald's Community Garden, oh, the Butterfly House, we were just there, the Honey Bistro, and the English Tea Garden. All right, so we're, all right, where do I go? Do we go back to the Butterfly Garden? I didn't even see one there. Mark Luca, thank you so much for becoming a member. Thank you, thank you. Um, don't go too far from here, thank you. Mark Luca, thank you so much for all of the support. Uh, appreciate you guys and all of the members of the channel. The support is amazing and our channel memberships are growing every single day. And wow, thank you so much. All right, so, all right, don't go too far from here. I'm gonna head back over to the butterfly garden. We'll just go backwards and then we'll come back and we'll go from there because we have to make it over there. Okay, so, so okay, well, here we go. I appreciate that, Wayne, because I was like, I don't know where Donald's garden is. <laughs> All right, I think I want to go this way. Derek, good morning. Unicorns, did I say good morning? I know I saw your name in Soren, and then I just saw it there, and I think I started talking to Mark. So good morning, Unicorns. Thank you for being here, and thank you for your time today. So unlike the Easter egg hunt that's only in the World Showcase, um, one of the, only I would think one of the eggs is in the Odyssey building, but the rest of them are all in the World Showcase. This is a little different and it is everywhere. <laughs> so I'm, I'm seeing here, I think if the little, if the little buildings are giving me a clue, um, they have, and then they do have guardians on the other side, so. Kind of 
kind of like Blue's Clues, kind of. Welcome in everybody. So as we're walking around, my thought of doing this today was that the ride wait times would get kind of long and uh, this would give us something else to, wanted to show you that there are other things to do here and that if you're not even into rides and you're just here for the topiaries and the festival and food and scavenger hunts, then I, I wanted to at least do something different with you guys today. And we do, I do plan on ending, not ending, but I plan on seeing Neil today at 1.30. All right, so we're gonna go back to the butterfly, the butterfly house. And it does make sense that Spike the Bee is everywhere because the flower and garden Festival, the Flower and Garden Festival flows out of the World Showcase. So it makes sense that we're going to be traveling all around Epcot today. Uh, does Planner Holly right? You don't get parades here, but you get scavenger hunts. Disney 76, I agree. I think that between, if you're so focused on the rides and a lot of other things, maybe even some like entertainment, um, you don't think to do these little, the little things like the scavenger hunts or even spend the time on it. All right. I know Tanner's already given me a little hint. And he said at the beginning, at the entrance. So I don't know if it's before, it's like right before we even go in. Oh, there he is. Yes, the DuckTale Adventures as well. And that costs nothing. Look at the line for Figment. Oh my gosh, you guys, we were just here and the line for Fig Figma is already out the door. And that's what I was afraid was gonna happen today. Okay, so we're looking for the salvia. Um, right here. I think that's how you say it. Right there, the purple one. I'm sorry, I know I'm standing on your mat. <laughs> It feels so good. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put it. All right, so I put it here. That's our first. All right, our first Spike the Bee um, finding. All right, so next, the Donald's Community Garden that is over by Guardians, and then we also have the World Discovery Playground. So let's head to the World Discovery Playground, or we can, I don't know, we'll see which one, we'll see which way we end up going. How about that? I don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna get stuck again. Scott Hill, I agree. And whether you're, whether you spend the money 
and get the actual official thing or you just go around looking for them, it can still be fun. Either way, especially with the, the extravaganza as well, if even if you don't pay for it, and I do think that that um, prize that you get with that one, which is uh, you get a choice of four little ornaments. It's really a pin that they put on a string. Um, it's super cute. And you can make it into a keychain. You can make it into something, so. All right, so we're gonna make our way back to where we came from and uh, go by Creations. Try not to get taken out along the way. We're gonna head over, like going towards Guardians. And uh, we're going to the playground and Guardians. This is also gonna allow us to walk around Epcot and take it all in, see all the sights. And, um, you know, you're doing something and not realizing what you're doing, which is seeing the entire park. So I think what I'm going to do is go straight through uh, the Connections Creations area. Ooh, I wonder if uh, the um, Club Cool has gotten crowded. Uh, back's June 10th. Wall should be down June 10th. Here we are. So we're going to go through, go through the, I don't know what it is, a tunnel, the, the passageway uh, between connections and creations. Uh, thank you, Amber. I, I believe in Genie Plus, especially if you're trying to get the most out of your day and i think with a little bit of strategy and genie plus if you're coming here and you've not ever been here or you're just trying to ride every single ride or something like that i'm always a fan of genie plus but i also believe that you can do a lot without genie plus club cool I'm gonna walk in. I don't, I'm not gonna have Beverly. <laughs> but somebody did ask which one was the barbecue one. Uh, it's not too bad in here. I mean, if y'all really wanted me to have Beverly, I could do it. But I'm trying to figure out which one was the barbecue one. All right, let's see. I think it was the China one. It says sour plum flavor. Which one? Or I think Country Club is the one that's pretty good. Or Viva. I like the cucumber sprite one. 
I think this is the bar. I don't. I don't want the barbecue one. We're gonna go. We're gonna go Sprite. refreshing to me. I don't know, maybe the Madagascar one. Not bad. I'm going to do the Viva one. Seltzer too. Bex, you got James to try it. Oh, I like the watermelon one too. Alright, all the sugar. I got the watermelon one now. Alright, on with Spike the Bee. No one requested me to do Beverly, so appreciate that. I think the watermelon or the cucumber one was the best. All right, on to um, our on our journey, and I found the Donald Garden. I always forget about. The Donald Community Garden, I think it's so cute. I'm I'm happy to have the taste that I have in my mouth now. Thank you. Thank you. WDW Stream Finder, thank you. <laughs> All right, so we are at the Donald Community Garden, and I see Spike. He is over here. That is a long Joffrey's line too. Oh, is that a Do you want coffee? No. So right here in the garden, we have the tomato spikes with the tomato. Oh, I see tomatoes. Okay, tomato, tomato, tomato. We got this one, Donald's Community Garden. Uh, the World Discovery Playground, I think, would be next, and the Mickey and Minnie's Picnic. All right, let's walk over here and see Groot and Buzz, and then we'll keep going. Stream Finder, how are you doing today? Good to see you here in the chat too, as always. All right, group is right around here. So usually they have a photo pass here with group. But maybe it's just not out yet today. We'll see if Grudel makes some music for us. Uh, WDW Stream Finder, thank you. Uh, we appreciate you being here. And you know what? I say busy is good. Hopefully your day goes by quickly. And we're halfway through the week. Jen Sully, hello. 
Thanks for being in the chat, Jen. I don't know how often he spends. I know whenever I was here for the first time, I felt like forever waiting for it to spin and to hear it. And it's super hard to hear it too. And I say, I think super hard just because there's so much other music going on. Uh, Jeff, hello. Um, how are you doing today? You heard the tapes last night? That's amazing, Jeff. Oh, you you heard those tapes move at night. Got it. Not last night. I think I heard them closer to the evening too, but how long do you wait? I mean, evidently you wait for a safari for two hours. How long can we be patient with Groot here? All right, Jeff, I will, I will get back to you. I appreciate the patience. All right, guys, I think we're going to move on. A 20-minute soundtrack. It's got to rewind. All right, so here's Buzz. <laughs> B.H. Gilmer, get a big pencil and stick it through and rewind. <laughs> It's got to rewind, you guys. Sandra, I don't know. We'll have to see. I usually just uh, leave my stream as is. I don't ever, like, maybe in the beginning, but I don't anymore. I don't mute it. I don't edit it. I don't cut it. Um, I don't, I don't do it. I, I want you guys to be able to enjoy the stream as is. And, uh, we'll, we'll keep moving on. It, it's no big deal. There's Huey, Dewey, and Louie. So cute. Part of the Donald, uh, garden. And we're going to go over here to the playground. And uh, the playground is over here. And then we have Mickey and Minnie's picnic, which I think is in the center. I think Tanner was trying to guide me there. All right, so the playground is right here outside of Creations. Another thing that I love that we have at Epcot so again, if rides aren't your thing, or maybe there's a group that's riding the ride, but you have littles and you just want them to enjoy their day and get some energy out, the playground is amazing. All right, and right here, oh, poppies. I think that's what those are impatience but then those look like poppies so spike the bee we have the impatience right there So we are at the playground. I'm going to put it on the playground. All right, so we have three done. And Mickey and, Mickey, Mickey and Minnie's picnic is right in the middle, I believe, over here with Pluto. We have about six minutes until the food booths open up for the uh, festival, too. So 
all that's going to be starting starting soon as well the purple martins i think if you watch the magic uh, uh, the um, animal kingdom behind the magic it tells you they have a whole section or a section of the show about the purple martins and it's so interesting i agree kelly um one of the things that's so awesome about uh the flower and garden is how visually pleasing it is and uh it's just amazing so i do believe this is um one of the areas and this is the mccamini's picnic I know. area i think we're gonna go on the other side they do derek um during food and wine it's remy you look for chef remy around everywhere it is so we have chippendale with the picnic basket pluto there and then mickey and minnie and then we have spike the bee there with the sunflowers hello candy how are you All right, so we have some flowers for Mickey and Minnie. All right, so then this is where I feel like we're going. Honey Bistro is over to our right, and that's where we're gonna be passing by. Um, the desert garden is that in Mexico? Oh, do we want to go Mexico? Let's go Mexico and see if we can ride um, Grand Fiesta. Cat and Crunch, hello, my love. How are you doing? I don't really smell the fragrances of the flowers. I smell, I smell barbecue. <laughs> That's what I smell. Oh, so yeah, for, that's right, uh, Unicorns. So for Remy, we did that and it was a, um, a little lunchbox. And you got to pick from four of the lunch boxes. Um, for the holidays one, I believe that they do. Uh, am I right? I know Jeff just said for each one. I believe it's Olaf. I think it's Olaf for the holiday one. All right, Grand Fiesta, we can do it. Thank you, Unicorns. That's not too terrible. And who doesn't want to love, or who doesn't want to ride Grand Fiesta Tour? So again, I will show you um, at the stores here um, in the World Showcase. They do have the maps and you can look for these signs. And we are doing the Spikes Pollination and we did already do the Extravaganza one. Oh, that, I, so that's the one I didn't do. I haven't done those jack-o'-lantern where you get to choose the little mini pumpkins.
Stacy, I wish I had smell a vision for you. <laughs> We'd get really up close to the flowers. Uh, Tanner, I did not see that. Generally, if news comes out nine o'clock and after, I don't see it until I get home or unless you guys tell me about it. Alrighty, we're headed to Mexico. We're gonna go to Grand Fiesta and we're gonna go find Spike the Bee there at, I don't know, somewhere in Mexico. The Desert Garden? Oh my goodness, it's like Ron was here and he just tipped over my phone. <laughs> or I hit it myself. All right, so I think maybe right over here. I'm gonna find the thing first, I think. I think there is a little garden right over here. You cannot, cannot trust him, Cap. the tropical rainforest. Is he in the rainforest? There's the Easter egg. Is this? Oh, I see him. All right, that's what I thought. I'm like, it's the only place I can think would be a desert garden. Echeveria? I don't know if I'm saying that right. So we're here, this is where we are. All right, and we're gonna go ride the Grand Fiesta Tour right after I get the sticker off. All right, we got it. All right, we got it on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to go. One of my favorite areas is this tropical rainforest area that Donald just came out. All right. Can you hear him ch chanting? So cute. Donald is one of the best meet and greets. Yeah. That's what I didn't like that house. Well, I don't know. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Excuse me. All right, this is where we get in the line. This is where we're waiting for the Grand Fiesta Tour. We are officially in the line. Where is she going? Over here. Sophia. Over here. Sophia. Come on. Come on. Caroline. Sophia. Huh? 
I would say this is a first for me uh, as far as the wait. It, it won't take that long. Uh, if it says 15 minutes, we'll, we'll see how long it takes us. So we got in the line at 11.05. There's a bird in the cage in Mexico. Still talk to you. I don't know what bird in the cage. All right, let's see. Follow the line, please. Thank you. All right. Not horrible at all. Hi. Thank you. No, Grand Fiesta Tour does not have a lightning lane. And Wayne, just so you know, um, I checked last night had my lightning lane uh because i had two of them and i only used one of them um it was still there and then this morning poof it was gone from my app i just passed the bird okay when i come out Hopefully when I come out, I can remember that there's a bird that talks and I will stop at it. Soren's now 70. That's crazy. Um, I can't, like I said, we, if you get in, you get on whatever you can as quickly as you can you're going to be able to make some headway. All right, Allie. Just a second. You're fine. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. Okay. You're fine. Yes, wait right here. Uh, Grand Fiesta Tour, what else? Um, I know Trace Harris up. Spins doesn't have a lightning lane. Uh, People Mover doesn't have a lightning lane. Carousel of Progress. Can I come up with all the non-lightning lane rides? I think Grand Fiesta is the only one in... Um, Epcot. I think Triceratops Spins is the only one in Animal Kingdom. People Mover and Carousel and Magic. And in Hollywood, are there any rides that don't have a lightning lane? Oh, the tree house doesn't. Said three attractions in um, three attractions in Magic Kingdom. And I agree, Mexico is one of the best pavilions to walk around in. Japan's store is huge. So is China. I think like China is um, underrated too with the store, but Japan's is is bigger. That exciting, it's all on camera. At least someone finds it that exciting. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are making our way through the Grand Fiesta Tour, um, the Grand Fiesta Tour ride line. We are almost there. 
once I get to the ride vehicle, we won't be talking anymore and uh, we'll be enjoying the ride. Ooh, the train of magic kingdom another good one so what are we up to four no lightning lanes at magic kingdom <laughs> living with the land does have a lightning lane yep Good morning, Dogs and Coco. Thank you.
all the time and then now I I don't know I look the other way now but I, it's one of my favorite hidden Mickey's all right we're almost off the boat you guys JJ Mickey hello hello thank you for being here bird. Okay, you said I passed it. talks to you like 
do you have to uh, motion to it? But it does not look like it's talking. <laughs> All right, there's a bird in a cage, but it's not talking. I'm not gonna stand here. Like, how long do I stand to wait for the, um, to stand and wait for the bird to keep talking to me? I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. See you here this morning good to see everybody all right you guys we are back on the spike uh the spike the bee scavenger hunt and uh we're gonna keep going around the world showcase dave no problem hopefully now that i know like it's supposed to talk because i don't think i've ever seen it talk um i will give it more of an opportunity Well, appreciation. We're going to continue now with a wonderful instrumental version and the original version, really, of a, of a wonderful and popular song. Uh, that uh, was brought back to light uh, by Luis Miguel with lyrics. This was originally composed in the 1960s by the great maestro of mariachi music, Ruben Fuentes. His, uh, his lovely and beautiful melody, La Viquina.
that's a good to know cap um i never I'd like i've not ever been around where they've celebrated something okay so we are back on to the spikes pollination nation exploration 2024 look at me go proud of myself there uh, it looks like the next one's in Italy, so we're gonna keep walking around and we're gonna go around the world showcase. Oh, that's a good song. We should have stayed. Let's go. We'll stop Elsa and Anna. Elsa and Anna are up here in Norway. We'll stop and take a look at them. Alright, so passing through Norway, but the topiaries for them are right here. The song that we listened to, it just sounded familiar, or maybe there are some familiar parts to it. And I couldn't really place it, but it did seem familiar. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you. Garden. I don't know that I've ever paid attention to that before. Chinese art of miniature landscaping. I was going to say, or bonsai, but it says it's similar to the Japanese bonsai, so okay. All right, and if you're looking for topiaries here in China, they're right over here the panda bears. Uh, Kiki, you know, I know a lot of people feel that way, but then I also know a lot of people would feel like um, they would never want the Grand Fiesta Tour to go away. Donald deserves a ride. Justice for Donald. Thank you. Okay, so the Kina was that the song? It's called La Vikina. Okay, that's the song. Breathless 2012. Good morning. They do have a nice show inside, kind of like Canada. It's the 360 show, and it's it's nice, nice air condition. Um, you do stand through it, so you don't really get off your feet, but it's a nice break from being outside. We're making our way over to Italy for the Flower and Garden Festival, Spike the Bee, um, Exploration Scavenger Hunt. April, no problem. My pleasure. <laughs> oh, there goes the boat. There goes the boat. Maybe we can hop on it today. I know it's from Germany, which is super special. As they're renovating the other port.
Hello, Tiki Man fan. Hello, hello. All right, so here in Japan, we'll walk closer to the water, and if you're ever looking for the topiaries here, um, it is Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and they're, I think it's an awesome topiary. It's so big if you think about putting it all together. I'm trying to stay away from the caramel shop. There's a method to my madness so I don't smell it. With some Disney ducks living their best life. Ah, uh, Kiki, thank you for being here and being part of the stream. And the topiaries, again, they are. Disney does such a great job with them. And uh, I would love to have them all in my yard. And Darla, all I go back to is like, get your chicken wire out. I don't know. I don't even know if it would like resemble a uh, a butterfly. Maybe like a I can maybe do a ladybug. They are higher. And I never understand that because if you don't smell it, you don't have to go. <laughs> I mean, I do know it's still over there, but yes. If you don't smell it, you don't go. Tell your wife that's the rule. Okay, so we're in Italy. We're looking for our next flower. And I am gonna guess that it's up in here. And if you're looking for the topiaries, Lady and the Tramp are up here. See, Dave's, Dave's trying to get me to go towards the caramel. Your dream job was unlocked yesterday. It's now to be the person passing out the ice cream at the end of the backed up ride. I mean, you, that person made everybody happy. I, at least they made me happy. I agree, Amber. That was a that was a great um, great job to have yesterday. And and unless people were super mad, I wouldn't want that job. Oh, the pizza the pizza window is open. Hello, Holly. All right, I don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch what other people do. <laughs> uh, they're they're looking for Spike to be too. So if you stand here and watch where they go. I'll just follow them. Joe, hello. All right, they're, they're sitting down. I think they've given up on Spike the Bee. I have to go do this on my own.
Okay, we're gonna go out front. It's gotta be out front. If you're just joining us, we are doing the scavenger hunt here for the Flower and Garden Show. I don't know why I keep calling it the Flower and Garden Show. Like, it's an exhibition. It is, it is, but it's called the Flower and Garden Festival here in um, Epcot. All right, maybe around the corner. Garden Italiano. I don't know that he would be over there. Are they gonna make me walk way over there? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go look. The Italian sub from Subway. Sounds good, Jeff. That sounds really good. I don't think he's going to be over here in the cement. I should have stuck with the, the dad and the little kid. Where's Tanner? Oh, gelato sounds good, Joe. All right, maybe I missed, I think I missed him. I think I know where he is. I missed him. And so I, I know now, it just came to me. The little garden right over here. Garden Italiano with the benches. Putting my thinking hat on, hat on since we were talking about blues clues. Is that blues clues? The thinking hat? The thinking chair. Found him, Basil. Thank you, Darla. <laughs> okay, we got it. Magnolia Terrace is next. I got sidetracked with gelato. Pizza and gelato. I took myself way into Italy for no reason. <laughs> All right, so here we are. We're going to Magnolia Garden. Garden. Oh my gosh! And I see Pooh. I'm going, you guys. I see Captain Hook, and I see Pooh, and I see Stitch. Oh man, how did I not see them? I was so focused on Spike the Bee. <sighs> okay, we're gonna get there. At least I saw it and didn't smell it. There's a gelato garden. Stitch! Stitch, you being good today? Good. He's on his best behavior. Okay, that's good. Miko. Hi, Tasha. <laughs> I 
At least, I mean, if it was Piglet, I would have been really running. Oh, Stitch is, Stitch is back. I'll get Winnie the Pooh. JJ, I think that's for everybody, right? It's no fun being uh, being good. <laughs> More fun being in uh, being bad. All right, Captain Hook is over there uh, signing autographs too. Let's go see. Let's go see Captain Hook. It's a great autograph. Does he sign sign with his hook? Excuse us, my friends. All right. All right, we are looking for the Magnolia Garden. I'm gonna um, walk right in here to um, the smokehouse and I'm gonna grab a cup of water. So bear with me for a second and then we'll continue on with our Spike the Beast scavenger hunt. happen in here if you have a water bottle or you have your own um, cup you can come in here and fill up character palooza I get so excited for characters. I know if you've been in my stream enough times, you know, cast members and characters. I love them. All right, let me see if I can grab a cup. Can I get a water cup? It's fine. Thank you so much. We're gonna go get some ice. Ice is needed today. Gumbo here, um, here at Regal Eagle. You mapped out your daughter's Disney cookbook. Yeah, Jeff, that is amazing. I'm so excited for you, Jeff. Rarest character I've ever seen. I think like Geppetto. Um, and Geppetto I've seen right there. Um, I'm trying to think the rarest. Geppetto and Pinocchio together. Um, Captain, I mean, I've 
seen Captain Hook several times there. Hmm. Hey, Pickles. <laughs> Pretty sure the rare character with <laughs> Jeff. Um, I, I, I guess Geppetto. All right, here's Tiana. We have Spike back there with the Magnolia. Oh, I guess maybe, um, thanks for bringing that up, JJ Mickey. Um, I mean, Phineas and Ferb, I guess, um, I don't, I can never for the life of me remember the name of the teddy bear and it'll come to me, but I guess I'm Duffy. I guess Duffy is the rarest for over here. And I met him during uh, the Hollywood Studios Christmas thing. <laughs> I'm focused on my sticker. Hold on. Um, <laughs> Magnolia. And we are in the Magnolia Terrace. Gaston? I don't think I've ever met Gaston. Uh, you're good, Tanner. I, I got it. I got it. We figured it out. So now, uh, is it the Kokodama? Kokirama Garden we're going to? I hope I'm saying that right. Um, who else was there? I mean, Duffy. I would say Duffy is the rare signature I have. As of right now. Yeah, Gaston is usually in Disneyland. I don't think I've ever seen a Gaston out and about here. I always say um, I want to meet Dumbo. Dumbo is my, my uh, meet and greet that I want to happen. So on to the scavenger hunt and finding speak, speak, speak the bee, spike the bee. <laughs> I was doing so good with all of my words and then it just all went downhill. Oh, you know what, Jeff? I've seen them too. And King Louie and the penguin were over in the UK in that section. I have seen them too. I have my picture with King Louie. So see, thank you, thank you for helping me with that too. All right. All right. Looking for, I don't know where this garden would be. I know that they Dumbo is here. I've seen Dumbo come out on people's vlogs or TikToks or whatever. I've seen him come out for a cast member celebration. And then I've seen, I don't know how they got there, but I've seen him in like a convention center room. And I think that was like, what, last year? the garden is but it's not here because this is a shishi shishi orishi garden and I'm saying that with my serious face like I'm saying it right I 
I know. Captain Crunch, I've not ever even known that there was a, Ch a Cheshire cat meet and greet. Oh, I feel like he's over here. I feel like I've seen him before. Maybe. Captain Crunch, I'm bound and determined to get the video of him and Peter Pan. Okay, I found the garden. Meet and greet with Marie would be great. All right, and there he is up here, and he, it is an iris here. We'll go on a card hunt. All right, Iris here. Let's go get our sticker. All right, this is what it looks like. We'll have four more to find after this one. What's this? Mom, Alright. Alright, so next we're going to the Spice Garden. And I know where the Spice Garden is. It's in Morocco. Oh, you saw Gus Gus and Jacques? That's amazing. I'm Kawaii Kitty, hello. to Morocco uh, we have four more stickers to find and uh, then I will show you the prize you do have two items to choose from and uh, so I like that they let you choose what your prize is um, with limits I would like that lounge fly over there thank you very much I've been all around the world looking for this no, but they already have predetermined prizes and uh, you can pick, um, pick from them. All right, the topiaries are out. The big one, I just want to know how many years it would take to cover this with the one little ivy, piece of ivy. Is, are we looking at 10 years here? Are we looking at a good five years? <laughs> Tyler and Noel, hello. Welcome into the chat. I want one of them too, and I'm afraid if you spend $55 on one, like, will it, will I kill it? <laughs> Especially if you're taking it, I mean, I don't know. I I'm afraid M mine would just stay the moss. <laughs> look, look, everybody, I have $55 moss.
All right, so we're headed to the Spice Garden. And I do know where that is. It's right over here. Hey, Clint English. Ooh, if they brought the Tinkerbell meet and greet back, that would be amazing. Good morning, Paul. All right, Spike is over here and he is with the pepper. Uh, so, oh my gosh, Janelle and I, we did. I was gonna say, Jeff, I met uh, Turk and Jane with you and that's probably pretty rare too. That was the first time I met Jeff and he's been with me ever since. He keeps finding me. All right, getting our pepper sticker. Three more to go. We're going to the French gardens now. I'm, you met me without meeting me. Yes, <laughs> yes, Jeff. I think most of them are going to be All righty. Now we're going to France. Well, Clint, hopefully they have something a little more exciting. Are you going to be here when everything else opens on June 10th? Because, I mean, that might be a little more exciting, maybe. So, yes, we're, we are in the Flower and uh, Garden Festival era. Yep, Tyler, that's that's what we have going on right now. There were they were power walkers. They were trying to get somewhere quickly. The Festival of No Festivals is absolutely the best time to visit. So there's going to be so much going on here in June. I think not having a festival is a pretty good idea. I do believe Spike the Bee is up here. Beautiful Princess Aurora. Good to see she's not sleeping and she's meeting and greeting. All right, so this is where the Easter egg is. Remember that? I thought I knew where Spike was. Let me see if I can figure out what flowers I have. A rose, a, a canna, a canna, and chamomile, camellia. So I need to look for those. This is the bouquet garden. I mean, they do have this spelled out for you. Uh, 
Tanner, when is the Festival of the Arts? In January to February. It is the shortest festival here in Epcot. All right, I see it. The other question is kind of important. Come on, guys. Look at the view circle. Look at the view circle. Spike, spike the view is right there. Show me your cappuccino. I'm going to go over here to the side and put my sticker on. Where are the French gardens? I don't know what flower I'm supposed to be looking Oh, rose. Rose, rose garden. All right. All right, so two more. We have the English Tea Garden and the Honey Bistro. I'm gonna grab. Uh, out of all my favorite, Tyler, it would be um, a very hard choice between Festival of the Arts and Flower and Garden. Um, I met wonderful people during Flower or Festival of the Arts, and so I love coming to it. I didn't used to like it. Um, all right, so I didn't. I didn't used to be a fan of it, and then I came. Once I started streaming, I was here a lot, and I got to see some really cool things, and I learned to appreciate it. So I would say Flower and Garden, and maybe. Festival of the Arts, and I'm probably only saying that because we're in Festival of um, Flower and Garden right now. Um, but if it was uh, Festival of the Arts, I might say Festival of the Arts. And then I would say um, Festival of the Holidays and then Food and Wine. Food and Wine is my least favorite. It goes on for forever. They always have the same thing, and there's nothing visually pleasing about it. All right, so we are on our way over to the UK and we're headed to the Tea and English Garden. We're leaving France, and if you're just joining us, we are doing the Spikes Pollination Nation Exploration 2024. We have two stickers left, and uh, we're gonna go hunt for Spike the Bee. So close to finding out what did I pick? Neil will be at 1.30, so we have roughly an hour and a half, and we'll be stopping in to see Neil. Pineapple beer. I feel like I've had the. Have I had pineapple wine? I think that's a thing too. I feel like I've had the pineapple wine. All right. 
We're heading to the UK. They do have a tea tour here in the UK um, for the Flower and Garden Festival. It's at one o'clock and three o'clock. You do have to sign up for it. So if you're in interested in, a, I think it's like, it might be 30 minutes, but let's just say 15 to 30 minute tea tour. It's a lot of fun and different who Alice is meeting. Um, it's a lot of fun and uh, definitely remember you have to sign up for it. All right, so this is the English Tea Garden and this is where Spike is. So we're gonna stop through, pass through here and go look for him. Oh, and I see him. Yeah, Wayne, I learned that too. Oh my, oh my gosh, Jeff. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I wasn't sure. All right, Alice is meeting and greeting, but we're just coming over here to look at Spike the Bee. Spike is right there with the chamomile. Let's see. It, yeah, chamomilia, camellia. Okay. Okay, we did it. One more to go and I had a tough time with the sticker. That's what was taking so long. If you're ever like, what is she doing? Um, it's just me trying to get the sticker off. Alrighty. Rose and Crown is where we'll be in a little while. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna head through Canada and make our way back around. And we're gonna go to the Honey Bistro. But welcome in while we're walking around. Uh, don't forget to like the stream if you love uh, what you're seeing today. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you part of our community. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you for the recognition. I don't, you know, I don't know if I have, you know, if I was good at it in kindergarten or not. I don't remember, but um, I'm thinking that maybe I wasn't. used to talk to each other? Uh, Breathless 2012, uh, you're new, so thank you. Thank you for being here. Do I do these streams often at Disney? Four to five times a week. We will not be streaming tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment. And, uh, we will definitely, what we have on the schedule is um, Saturday morning. Um, we'll be early in Magic Kingdom on Saturday morning. And I haven't decided about Sunday. 
but we know Ron will be, I think, in the park Sunday. So I haven't decided about Sunday. It depends on what we have going on. I'm trying to get ready for company that I'm having in April. So I have that going on at home. Right now, my husband's sanding our um, kitchen cabinets and he took the doors off and he's trying to convince me that we don't need doors on our cabinets now. So I, I, I don't like it and I'd like it to be finished. And, uh, and he was like, I think, I think we should put curtains up. So I think he's tired of sanding. Melissa, good morning. Good to see you in the chat, Melissa. Manta Ray Travels, hello. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm an okay DIYer. I used to be way better until I started doing this and now I'm like, eh, I have other things I could be doing. All right, Spike the Bee is over here and this is the Honey Bistro Garden. So I have a feeling he'll be over here. And this is our last sticker. Hi, oh, Melissa, I am, thank you. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Hmm, we're gonna keep walking. So chicken and waffles here, the honey glazed cauliflower or something I want to try, but I did have the liquid nitro honey mascarpone cheesecake, and I still to this day think it is one of the best desserts that I've had. It's very light, but the blueberry compote was the best part of it. Sorry. Oh, no, you're Alright, so Spike the Bee is over there. There was a, a little kid in the walkway and I just didn't want to trample him. Alright. So he is right there. Four minutes. Ah, Tyler, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you everybody who's hit that like button. All right. All right. Our last sticker. Look how good I was at it. I got lots of practice. All right. Here we are. We're all done. We have found Spike everywhere. Now let me show you what I picked. Could you imagine if it wasn't in here anymore? I picked the Orange Bird um, Magnet. And I can, my husband's gonna be like another magnet. But yep, we have another magnet. And uh, I picked the orange bird one. He's so cute. We did it. Thank you everybody for being part of it. There's bugs. So he'll probably going, be going in a, a near future giveaway. But. If you do this, you get this. There's gnats everywhere. Hi, Monique. Uh, I don't, I don't know 
bright. I think whenever you take the monorail, it doesn't look like there's much going on. All right. So that's it. We did it. We're gonna go walk around some more. I don't know what I'm sending to the chat, you guys. I was just trying to clear the screen. All right. Yeah, then why, I, I feel like I stopped for just a second and the gnats were like, whoo, all over me. There should be an orange bird cafe. That would be absolutely adorable. We could have an orange bird uh, cafe and a figment cafe. Oh, you know, what? we have time to ride the boat. That's what we have time to do. Let's go ride the boat. All right, it is on its way back over from Germany. So I, I don't think I've ever ridden it. If I have ridden it to Germany, it was many, many years ago. And so we have only been able to ride it over to Morocco. So now we're gonna ride it over to Germany. Tyler, we did um, we did that already. Um, we did it as we came into the World Showcase. So we're gonna ride the boat because we can. We have a little bit of time, and uh, it's something that they'll probably not be here. I do think they're doing some refurbishment on the Morocco, um, uh, the Morocco. What is it called? Port. port? The landing. They're doing um, work on it. So yeah. beautiful day to be out on the water so this boat that's going by it looks like they're having lunch on it and it is my dream like to be on that boat and I mean they it looks like it's catered like they're having catered lunch on the boat and I want to do that I wonder if they just go in circles we'll have to pay attention Kershaw, these boat, the boat that we are getting on does not go to the boardwalk. There are friendship boats that do go to the boardwalk once you are out of the park, but you have to go out of the park over by the Skyliners, and then those boats will take you over to the boardwalk. Um, they'll take you to the Swan and Dolphin and over to Hollywood. They're friendships, <laughs> they're friendship boats, so. Hello, Steve. That's a VIP boat ride? I mean, it looks VIP. Oh, Dave, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And so the boat is going in over there. 
So I wonder if it just goes around the loop of like the Swan and Dolphin. I wonder if it does go over to Hollywood. Mm, I wonder. Hey, Jerry G, how are you? I think we might ride the boat full circle. I don't know yet. But I like that it like swings around. Jeff, figure it out. All I can say is that if you're coming anytime from today until, I don't know, December, bring a hair tie. Bye guys. It's hot. I feel like today is one of the first days that I'm like, okay, I'm sweating. I wish I had my hair up. Donwee Disney, uh, you are so welcome. Thank you for being here and thank you for being part of it. Um, doesn't matter how you're um, watching, if you're interacting in the chat, or if you are just lurking, ninja-ing, or stealthying, however you're watching in this three words that I think I just made up in some way, added a little extra to them. Um, thank you so much for being here and being part of the stream. Gary, I said if you have hair. I think I said if you have hair. If you're, no, I think I did say if you're coming here, you should bring a hair tie. All right. If you're coming here and you have hair, bring a hair tie. I hope we get to sit outside. I'm gonna try. We are sitting outside. No one wants to sit out here. We will. Just a busy weekend 
um, park. Um, you know what, if this is where you wanna be, then I say you do what you wanna do. It's your mother's day and it's your favorite park. So don't be afraid of the, the crowd. Um, come in here, um, be happy, and be happy that you're here. And I wouldn't be afraid of it. Just be a little more prepared or a little more like aware and uh, you'll have fun and you're, you'll do fine. But I'd say you do what you want to do and don't let anybody else uh, take that away from you or don't let anybody else steer you to what you don't want to do. Fabrice, bonjour, Project Loop, hello, good to see you in the chat. Grab Grammy's hand, hurry up. Stop being moms. Uh, Nathan, we're just taking a boat ride over to Germany. I would think that I wouldn't be 
2D. down for just a second. And 
back up. Steve, what do I think is the best pavilion and why do I think it's Mexico? Steve, I do think Mexico is amazing and uh, has really good margaritas and it has a ride for Donald. It is fabulous, but I, for some reason, always seem to gravitate towards France and I, it's because I love the bakery there and I do love the drinks there as well. The frozen Grey Goose vodka drinks. You can't go wrong. So, I would always say that it's a tie between Mexico and France for me. So James, they just brought this boat back to come over to Germany. Um, and I do, I do think that they're doing some refurbishment on the other landing in Morocco. So that's why we came over to Germany and that's why we got on it is because we've never ever come over here or it's been a really, really long time since we've come over here. So just enjoying the boat ride, enjoying that we're going to a different location and doing something a little bit different. the next time I'm here at like that time of the day. Ah, uh, Captain Hook's back out. Oh man. Let's see who I see. I see Captain Hook. I'm all excited from the boat. I stand up waving. Captain Hook's really the only one I see. Miko's there. Miko, Captain Hook. Ooh, Pooh Bear's there. I see Pooh. See Pooh again. Who else? Oh no, Stitch is kind of probably blending in. Oh man. Another character Palooza. Oh yeah, Stitch is, Stitch is back there. Oh, Jeff, that sounds so good. <laughs> Bye, Darla. Thank you so much for all of your help today.
is wonderful. It's it's good. I like viewing everything from this side. We always walk around the world so many times and we view from uh, over there looking this way. So it's just a, a fun, another way to view the world. Hey Tina, thanks for hopping in. It's okay if work is, is insane. We will, don't feel, I don't want you to feel like you have to be here. Same with you, Liz. Same with you. The boat ride's making you sleepy. this is going to take so long especially the loading and unloading at least for me that's how it feels um but in all reality if you can just wait to get on it it's so good to get off of your feet and um enjoy the boat and just enjoy the boat ride Again, we have about 45 minutes until Neil. We're gonna um, hop into the stores. We're gonna go through Canada. We'll go through UK if we have time and then we'll head over to Neil. is over. right over here into the port of entry store see if they have anything new and then we're gonna make our way towards Canada and the UK I did put my hair up too that's what I was doing on the boat Mr. Carrie Small, hello. Boo, hello. How are you? We did. We went across the we went across the lake. Hello, welcome in.
All right, we're gonna head out. Just wanted to look around. Let's head to Canada. I'm over here snapping my fingers like this music is snappable. Um, but we're going to head to Canada. We're going to go through the UK and uh, we're going to go to Neil at 1.30. 1.30. So if you love to see Neil, the piano player that we usually see at uh, Magic Kingdom, he will be here at the Rose and Crown 1.30 and 2.30. We're going to watch the 130 performance. And uh, yeah, hope you stick around and enjoy it. All right, so here in Canada, the Canadian food booth, the Northern Bloom, seared scallops, beef tenderloin tips, and chocolate maple whiskey cake. Lamont, hello, David, hello, good morning. Is it still morning? And Kevin's channel, um, back to your comment from earlier. It's my pleasure to be streaming. Uh, thanks for being part of the stream. What's my favorite festival food? Um, I, I, love, I love France. France is a good festival and Usually America and the Honey Bistro. I would say those are my top three. Here's pictures of them. So that's what they look like. Uh, I think Neil has told us he had the beef tenderloin tips and he said it's really good. The chocolate maple whiskey cake kind of reminds me of the Irish uh, uh, chocolate pudding that they have and it always makes me want to try it, but I haven't ever tried it. And I love scallops. I love seafood, but scallops are a texture thing for me and I wish I liked them more. Well, that's good, so So we'll do a little walkthrough of Canada and we'll go show you um, where the um, 360 film is. I guess that's what it's called. Um, yeah, it's a 360 theater. We're not gonna go into it, but I will show you and I'll take you on a little walk through the mountains. Waiting, waiting for some pictures, pictures to be taken. You're fine. Nope. Go ahead. I'm just waiting for them. <laughs> okay. It's okay, David. When I think when you said good morning, I I was questioning, is it morning? Is it afternoon? I didn't want to confuse myself. Okay, I smell the maple popcorn and it smells delicious. Delicious. And I usually eat before I come into the park and majority of the time, unless I'm with my husband or my friend, uh, my family, I normally don't eat in the park. So I can tell you all the things I've eaten and it's because I've eaten it when I'm with them and, and not on a stream. Not ever been, but it is a, it is a wanna do one day.
Canada is so beautiful. There's so many good places to sit, get off your feet, um, and just come back. So it is, it's Canada far and wide, and uh, it's a wonderful 360 show. Again, there's no seating. You do have to stand, stand through it, but it is wonderful air conditioning. Uh, Tina, yeah, I did have some water in the United States, um, in America, and then as soon as I get into meal, I always go and get a cup of water. I mean... Maybe I've just been here so many times that I'm like, oh, you know, I'll be back to get it again. Or, like today, right now, like, I don't feel like eating. I'm too warm. I'll get in the car. I will turn the air conditioning on and give me about 20 minutes. Or I know I'm passing a Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and then I'll eat. But if you can eat before you get to the parks, I highly recommend that you do. It doesn't even matter if it's at a resort. And I only say that because it just gives you more time to get in here. It gives you more time to get in here and start doing things and then worry about the eating later. Liz, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, Liz. So I just want to show you back here the, uh, the building that's blue that you normally wouldn't see. And then you can see the top of the roofs of the uh, beach club. So yeah. That's how close everything is. To go deeper and deeper. Into the jungle. You do need to come check this out. So this is one thing I don't know. Has anybody ever been in here to go into this building? And what did it used to be or what has it ever been? That's something I don't know. Now I want Chick-fil-A. So I will tell you, one of the um, first times I ever came back into Canada was because for food and wine, they would have, um, it might have been like right after COVID, um, the food and wine right after COVID, we would go back in there and that's where you would pick your drinks up. If you're into hockey, it's a great um, um, hockey jersey. Hello. Gary Solo. And I, I knew that there was somebody that would be like, I'm so happy to be in the Can Canadian store in the Canadian pavilion.
It is a great, and it's a great store. Oh, wow, Melissa. <laughs> All right. Are you saying that recap? Because I, I think I'm catching on, you know. I put it all together. Oh, they have coffee crisp. Is this a thing in Canada? and maple syrup. Coffee Chris sounds good. All 10 stickers. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. We saw Bambi, but we didn't see y'all. Here's all the merch again. Look at these Mickey ears. Look how cute. Coffee Chris is awesome. All right, Gary, I'm gonna have to get some. I love coffee and I love crisp. Cap, now, okay, that makes sense. Um, I can't think of the show. My my son used to watch it all the time, and I feel like I'm lame for not knowing the name of it. But I, I'm like, okay, I've heard I've heard this like accent and those words before. Okay, coffee, coffee Chris is amongst the top Canadian ex- What? Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Coffee Chris is a, gonna be a must try. Is it a heavy, is it heavier on the coffee? Is it like just a light coffee? I love coffee and I love coffee ice cream and coffee flavored things. So I just have a feeling like I love it. Hey, Ruby. Coffee Chris is so good. Oh, I love wafers. If I go um, to the grocery store, I'm going to get wafers. Sometimes vanilla, sometimes chocolate. So this sounds right up my alley. All right, so we're gonna head over into the UK. We'll walk around there and it'll be time for Neil. Okay, the arrow, the arrow ones, if I'm saying that right. Um, okay, I feel like the music Every time the music comes on, I'm like, I feel like I'm always waiting for some sort of an announcement. But it's just the music. I love the music here. And we caught it right at the beginning.
Remy, it's light. Okay, it's a very light. Okay, light on the coffee. I love that. Okay. All right, thank you, Ruby. Thank you, everybody, for the coffee, coffee crisp um, recommendation, and I'm definitely will pick one up. Yeah, Tina, now, now you have to get a coffee crisp while you're here. Do they sell them on Amazon? I'm gonna look it up. All right, coffee crisp comes up. Oh, it does. So let's see, right there, coffee, coffee crisp. Oh, let's see, a pack of 12 for $20. <laughs> that's probably a lot. I, I guess that's probably not too bad. The arrow they have at Publix, yes, Gator. All right, I just found 12 for 19.99. Make some 95 cents an ounce. And I can have it by tomorrow if I order within nine minutes and 22 seconds, or I can just go right back there and use my AP discount. All right. Oh my goodness, is this a new lounge fly? Look how cute. Oh goodness. This is absolutely adorable. How much is it? It looks really big. It's only 88. It looks very wide. And it looks like you can hold a lot of stuff in there. It would be amazing if Disney price match Amazon. Can you imagine going up to one of the um, cashiers and being like, do you, do you price match? Is that the best you can do? I did not even look. Gator, they do? Okay. They have coffee crisp and, and I've ignored it. All right, thanks for letting me know, uh, Gator. All right, so I feel like you've said that before, um, Jeff, that um, Publix has a version of Beverly as well. All right, now I'm gonna, I'll have to look for it at um, Publix. But Publix, I feel like, can be high too. Publix might be equal to just getting it here. So if you're just joining us or if you've popped out and you're like, what are we doing? Um, we are just walking around the UK and walking through the stores and then we're going to hop over to the Rosen Crown and see Neil at 1.30.
Jeff. Oh my gosh. I I understand why. Jeff, I, I like tonic with the quinine. <laughs> I don't think it tastes like Beverly. They're bounding as Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Tried it on a ship and you got some poop. There is no poo in there. This is really the topiary I'd love to have for my yard. The flowers have grown so, so much. I mean, the bunny is so, he might, it's kind of hard to see. I like Ting too. I've had Ting. Uh, we had Ting in um, St. Kitts. Yeah, I think we had Ting in St. Kitts. It's like Sprite to me. It do, that does not it does not taste like Beverly. Any I don't think anywhere close to it. Christine, we are. We are in Florida. We're in Epcot. <laughs> Cat. Cat. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. I feel like uh, the tea, the tea tour should be happening. Let me see if I can step out here and see. All right, they are they are up there. So again, uh, they're coming down, but those guests are in the tea tour. Oh, Tina! Earlier, when I was looking at the topiaries that are for sale, I uh, I said mine would just look like moss. Jen, I mean, I would say they're in the red or they're heavy, heavy crowd levels. Um, we rode Soren, Living with the Land, and um, Grand Fiesta, and then we just started doing the scavenger hunt. So um, I'm not sure. I haven't looked at wait times or anything in a while just because oh, we rode Figment as well. I agree, Blake. Back here is is a very nice place to come and rest. It's 
so last week I guess that's when I got the munchies like it's a candy here <laughs> I don't see the munchies. The hearts. That's a really cute teacups. So they don't have munchies today. They must be all out. Let's look at the topiaries and then we're gonna head over to the Rosen Crown and we'll go watch Neil. But welcome in everybody. Thank you so much for being here and being part of the stream um, today. If you haven't done so already, um, please like the stream and uh, also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Fine. Nope, go right ahead. Mom's on her own. Oh, Jen, I love that. Uh, Jason, the Queen mug is a bit outdated. Yeah, but you know what? I feel like people love the Queen so much that it's fine. I'm sure there's merch out there still. Uh, Jen, the weather is warm and humid. It started out in the 70s today, and it's cloudy. Like it, it's cloudy up there, but I'm I'm pretty warm. Um, if you're coming in a, a few days, Jen, I think that you're going to be okay. We're still in the in the 80s. I know next week it's supposed to warm up a bit, but hopefully it won't be too, too much for you. Uh, Tink for Life, you are so welcome. Thanks for being part of it. And again, it doesn't matter which way you're watching or be, being part of the stream. Uh, we'll take it and uh, thank you for being here. We're just gonna hang out here for a few more minutes, but let me, let me see Jen for you. We are at 83 right now and cloudy. So maybe it doesn't feel so bad, 57% humidity. Our high today is 85. You can, can you hear the breeze? Tomorrow is gonna be 79, Friday 78. And then by next Tuesday, it says in the 90s, but then back to the 80s. So one day, Tuesday, we'll be in the 80s. Cruiser Disney, thank you. Good to see ya. We are supposed to have some thunderstorms this, this evening and go into the morning. Um, but I think it's gonna cool things off and make it much, much better. Like 
brave. I agree. I think uh, I think Epcot is a wonderful place to start, whether you've been here or not. And I think it's most enjoyable by um, all that there is to see and do. Bye, Melissa. Thank you for stopping by. over here and see what the Joffrey's drink is. I want to see if it's the same at each one. Back um, I don't know where. Oh, um, at the port of entry over there or by Mexico. It was a matcha with blueberry. I'm going to see if it's the same. Uh, yep, we did. Cindy, we did see, we did find all the bees. So this one is citrus frosted iced tea, so they are different, all of them. Hello, David. Thank you, Gator. I appreciate that. I used to always say I am not a weatherman and give the, <laughs> thank you. I'm, I'm glad my lawyers stopped by. I'm going to show you if I can find it. All right, this is what we got from the Spike the Bee um, scavenger hunt. So that's it. Aren't you glad to meet me? That's the shirt I wanted. I never got it. It's white. I don't do well with white. All right, we're gonna head in. We're gonna head in now. If I didn't look now, I would forget on my way out. Fernanda, I am doing well. Thank you for asking. Hope you're having a wonderful day. All right, so Neil is inside the Rosen Crown, 1.30 and 2.30 on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Oh, it feels so good. Maybe we'll get our water now. We'll get our water now. Sarah's here. seen Charlotte in a while. Maybe she's like more in the evening and I just have, have been missing her. water thank you thank you all right we got our water thank you
Okay, hold on. Let's see. David. Sorry, I was getting my water. Um, so you'll be in... You'll be um, next Thursday, April the 4th, you'll be in Animal Kingdom till 4 o'clock. Then Disney rounding like Tigger and bouncing over to the studios for the evening. Oh, David, that'll be amazing. I would love to meet you if you're um, around any of the places that I'm at. So, oh my gosh, Coco. <laughs> I know, I haven't seen her. That's so, I didn't see what you were asking. And so, I haven't seen Charlotte, but I'm thinking that she's more in the evenings. Malcolm and the Magic, hi to Holly and Sarah behind the bar, yeah. They are so kind and so nice um, for the drinks and everything that they, they do back there, and they're so quick. Oh, there's the sun. It's like sun rays coming down on me. Yeah, Charlotte's one of my favorite. Sarah is awesome. Um, Amy, she's sometimes, but I just don't. I don't come here to get drinks, so only only water will they serve me. Eight after Sunday, it's eighty four. Then ninety every day. Just prepare for crowds and heat. So, I love uh, Coronado. Coronado is one of my favorite resorts to stay at. So my table that I normally sit at is taken. So we're gonna go for a second best over here. So Neil should be walking through any second. So thank you guys for being here. And uh, Neil is coming up and we'll listen to him. And yeah, it's been a wonderful day. What's my favorite park, Tracy Me? Um, favorite park is the one that I'm currently in. Um, it's whatever park I'm in at that time. Here he comes. I know. I know. It's a Wednesday. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Good. What's going on? There he is, everybody. Ah! <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's warm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've been here a while? No. I mean, well, in the park since 9 a.m., but in here, not long. Yes, yes, we're enjoying it. <laughs> Gator. <laughs> Gator. <laughs> I know, Wayne. I know, Wayne. We're, we're turned back around. I love that, David T. Um, make, that's it. That's the best attitude to have. So the Tampa area is great, too. You're going to have, hopefully, wonderful weather. Um, enjoy your time, and um, it's going to be amazing. Oh my gosh, Cynthia, an opera singer convention? That sounds crazy and amazing all at the same time. I can only imagine.
Jerry Lewis. And I'm going to do that one again later. That much. That much. <laughs> Sticking to my UK theme, kind okay, of. Okay. Because you're in the UK after all. You weren't sure. If you want to help with the clapping, that would be great because I'm playing the piano. So it's four claps, two claps, then one clap. Mushring, dabba doo, dabba da. I follow the daddy o. I follow the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. Thank you. Well, I counted out his money and it made a pretty penny. And I put it in my pocket and I took it home to Jenny. She sighed and she swore that she never would deceive me. For the devil will take the women, for they never can be seen. Mushring, dum a doo, dum a da. Black ball, daddy o. Black ball, daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. Piano soul. This is where you drink. Right, you know? Yes, yes. I went up to my chamber, all for to take the slumber. And I 
front of gold and jewels, and for sure it was no wonder. But Jenny blew the charges, she filled them up with water, and sent for Captain Farrell to be ready for the slaughter. A shrink of a dude or a dog. I'd follow the daddy o I'd follow the daddy o there's whiskey in the jar. Early in the morning, just before I rose to travel, up came a band of flood men, and likewise Captain Farrell. Pursued is my pistol, stole away my red gun. Shouldn't shoot the water, so a prisoner I was taken. A shrink of a new of a dog. I'd follow the daddy o I'd follow the daddy o there's whiskey in the jar. There's some that take to light in the carriages are rolling, and others take to light in the hurling and the bowling, and others take to light in the juice of the barley, and counting pretty fair maids in the morning, bright and early. A shrink, da ba doo, da ba da. Black ball, the daddy o, black ball, the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. If there's anyone can eat me, it's my brother in the. If I can find a station in Cork Hill and Kilardy, and if he'll go with me, I'll go traveling through Kilkenny. I'm sure he'll treat me better than my oldest sport, Jenny. A shrink, dabba doo, dabba da. Black ball, the daddy o, black ball, the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. There you go, a drinking song for those of you that are drinking. We're no strangers to love, you know the rules and so do I, a full commitment's what I'm thinking of, you wouldn't get this from any other guy, I just want to tell you how I'm feeling, I gotta make you understand, never gonna give you up, I'm never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, desert We've known each other for so long Your heart's been aching by time You're too shy to say it Inside we both know what's been going on You know the game and we're gonna play it And if you ask me how I'm feeling Don't tell me you're too blind to see Never gonna give you up I'm never gonna let you down I'm never gonna run around and desert you Never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Give you up, ready? Never gonna give, never gonna give. Give you up. Thank you. Never gonna give, never gonna give. Give you up. Yes. Never gonna give, never gonna give. Give you up. One more. Never gonna give, never gonna give. Give you up. I'm never gonna give you up. I'm never gonna let you down. I'm never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. You guys are awesome, thank you. <laughs> Little known secret, there's Donut King Donuts right there. Really? Yeah, wow. they're Donut King. They're really good. <laughs> I used to live about two miles from the Donut King. It was wonderful. All right, one more Irish. I gotta do an Irish song. It's not an Irish song. It's an Irish guy. <laughs> so technically, it's an Irish song if he's an Irish guy. Hey, where did we go? Days when the rains came out. I got in a hollow. I played a new game. Nothing and I'm running, I'm hey, hey, a skipping and a jumping. In the misty morning, if I read, our hearts are thumping in you. What's the name of the song? You guys knew it, I knew it. Are you my heart? I'm 
we must fall back. I'm slipping and sliding up, all along that waterfall with you, my brown eyed girl. Are you my bright eyed girl? Do you remember when uh, we used to sing Sha la 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 That's your part, ready? Sha la 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 for one more before I take my break so I gotta sing along for you guys oh cool you're, you're just in time to sing hey 
you guys. Thank you very much. My name is Neil. Thanks for singing along, hanging out with me. I'll be back. I'll be back at 2.30. And I'll do different one more, songs. One more. <laughs> that Free was it. That was the one. Oh, Freebird. You can yell out Freebird. Okay. There you go. There you go. You can yell it out. Cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs> All right, everybody, that was Neil. We're going to get going. It was wonderful as usual. I did it. You did do it. You did do it. Tazzy, I love that. 10 out of 10. Okay, so we are at the Rosen Crown. Yes. Look, uh, Neil. See? The Rosen Crown. This is where you can find Neil. This is where I work. Yeah. I play the piano there. Yeah. So, aside from Rosen Crown, Magic Kingdom, we know the Grand Floridian. What, any other locations that you've ever been to? Mm. No? Those are the ones. Those are, those are the. Those are my spots. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, there you go. That's where you can find them. Yeah. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Too. Yeah. You should. Thanks for visiting me. You know, the, the, the clouds are the worst sun. There you go. There you go. As soon as I'm out of sight. Okay. As soon as I'm out of, as soon as I'm backstage. Okay. Just, All right. Well, well, then, then let's know, get walking because, because this is dangerous. It's yeah, it is. It really is. Yeah. It's I've seen, also like misleading too. Right. I've it's seen so many sunburn people. I always feel so bad for them. Water? So. Is that what I used to Oh, yeah. All right. Do you know what year the pins started? No. Do you? Okay. 2000. Really? Yeah. I would have thought like they would have been around for forever. Well, the pin, I don't know, maybe I missed it. So okay. I don't know. You I'm did. Sure. You taught me something today. We'll Bye. See. We'll see. We'll okay. See. Fact <laughs> I'll fact check it. I don't know. Somebody is asking Neil a question. And I don't know. Sometimes he doesn't know where to send people. All right. All right, you guys. I'm going to be ending my stream. Um, I just want to say thank you for um, a wonderful morning. Thank you for doing the scavenger hunt with me. And if you've just been lurking back there, uh, watching and listening, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for everybody who has been part of the chat today, entertaining me, keeping me going through the scavenger hunt. I've appreciated it. Remember tomorrow, I have a doctor's appointment, no stream. Um, I will be on TikTok tomorrow at 7.30 tomorrow night uh, doing my Disney chat with Mike. So if you have TikTok and you want to join us, if you have any travel questions, we'd be happy to uh, entertain you over there. And uh, as of right now, we'll be back Saturday morning. I'm not sure what Friday will bring. With that being said, thank you to the channel members and thank you to all the mods for all of your time and all of your help today. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being at work and taking time out um, to be over here keeping the chat safe and keeping everything going and uh, yeah I think that that is it I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop for a second have a great day everybody and uh, I'm gonna go get my chick-fil-a and my, now my stomach's growling see I sat down I cooled off and now I'm ready to eat so have a wonderful evening stay safe and uh, I'll see everybody definitely on Saturday. If anything happens Friday, it'll just be a surprise, a surprise stream.
Uh, this is gonna kick over to Tanya. Tanya is in Hollywood Studios. So um, if you're in here, head over there, tell her the love squad is there. Uh, that's what we're gonna call ourselves. Uh, let her know the love squad is there. Give her a lot of hearts. Tell her hello and uh, enjoy Tanya at Hollywood Studios. Bye guys.